It's you. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I'm back down here because I, t well first up, I don't know why, here let me light it up, I don't know why this is uh, no longer lit up, I mean I thought this stuff stayed lit up for a long time, maybe not, uh, but anyway, I'm here because I need to get more of these like crystallized charges or whatever, oh my couple crusher is going to break soon, that's alright, that's alright, that's alright, let's, let's go ahead and do this. So, um, yeah, so these are ready for me, right? These are ready for me to take, right? I can just take these. How many do you require? No, I require all of them. I'll take them all. All, yes. They're, it's a deal. So now he has to process more. Now I need like a lot, I now have 30. I still need like, you know, a lot. <laughs> I still need a lot. And uh, how much do these cost, by the way? Zone a lot, how much do these? these uh, I'll take them all. Yes, five. Yeah, sure, it's a deal. Might as well cash in because these things are easy to farm. I just gotta remember to do it because I gotta have like a hundred. I'm only thirty, so I, I, I don't know how. I mean, it's gonna take me a while to get there, honestly. But basically, the premise that I have in my head is that I need to upgrade my battery stuff from the what is it called? There's a, a crystal refinery over there, and in order to do that. You know, I need more and more and more of those. I only have 30. I need 100. So, might as well start off here. Now, this is something I'll probably end up doing kind of behind the scenes from now on. And, and I'll let you know once I get 100. I'll help you. Your behavior is a threat. Well, then good. Get out of here. So, <laughs> um, what to do now? Oh, yeah. Let's travel back to the surface here. Um, the, the Karakara Bazaar. Um, is right here and there was a shrine that we had to do so I'm gonna do the shrine and then you guys in the comments also suggested that I sell some stuff so I can buy the gear that's a good point I should probably do that honestly let's just be real and uh, I have like a lot of diamonds I don't even know what I'm gonna use the diamonds for if not to sell them my opals my diamonds stuff like that um, but we're gonna start off with the shrine and hopefully this won't be such a terribly long episode compared to the previous ones but uh, we're going to do the shrine because we I don't think we did it before, did we? I don't think so. Let's go in. If we did it, I don't remember doing it. But uh, we'll find out. And we're almost to the Gerudo town. There's a lot to see here, though. There's so much to do in this game, for real. All right. Skip. What is this? This is a sliding device. Sounds new. A sliding device. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck? All right, I'll reverse one of those in a second. Recall one of those. Well, once it gets down here. <laughs> All right, thank you. Here, let me get close. All right, let's go. Up we go. This just keeps going, huh? All the way there. No, that's not gonna work, okay. Cool. That was pretty straightforward. And then, uh, so that's how a sliding device might work. There's a control stick here. Um, there's some fans here. There's a, it looks like to be a treasure way over there. Let's just take one of these things, combine them. And then let's see what we can do. Kind of want to put it like in the middle, right? <laughs> uh, we might want a fan then. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to definitely maybe. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Oh, shoo, geez, geez. Okay, here we go. All right. Come here. 
I think we're just gonna want one of these, right? There we go. There we go. So I think there's a treasure over here. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward. That'll kind of park itself, I believe. And then let me grab this. Arrows, nice, arrows are good. Someone said to shoot that sand thing with an arrow. I don't know if that's true, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Let's make another one. This is a pretty cool sand device. And, and the funny thing is, it's probably teaching me that I need, I need this for the, uh, for the desert. This would be like a good vehicle for the desert, right? I think that's basically what it's telling me. I mean, that's probably not gonna work very well, but let's try it anyway. This is just, just oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's go. There might be a bit of a <laughs> Joy-Con drift situation. Did I get the treasure? I got the treasure, there we go. All right, guys. So let's go take a look at this the sand thing. Let's sell some stuff so I can buy like the headgear or whatever that will make it nice. Oh, is this my first one? It's my first one. Okay, I don't need to look at it in the inventory. All right, so um, let's take a look at what else, what else there. I some I mean I don't know if it's true, but someone in the comments said to shoot it with an arrow. So if that was you and it doesn't work, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> no. What is that? Oh, just a plant. Um, okay. Kara Kara Bazara. How Bazara? The Kara Kara. Can I grab that? Give me that. Give me that. Yep. What's inside for me? A Gerudo bow. Perfect. I'll take that. So let's see about, you know, they're selling this. I probably need it. It's expensive. Uh, do you buy st stuff of mine? <laughs> buy from me so that I can buy from you. It's basically like trading. Uh, materials. How do you, Let's sort by price. By type. By attack power. By most. I can't sort by price? All right. Fine. Fine. Can't sell these? All right, let's uh, type. Sure, let's look at like 200 for those. I don't know, I, I can't do that. I can't do that. Those are basically priceless in my opinion. All right, oh, 500 for diamonds. Uh, rubies too. Okay, this is actually not bad. Uh, let's sell one of those. <laughs> let's sell a whole diamond. There we go. Now I can afford that. Ah. Let's buy it. Hold on. Let's see. I'm going to buy it. The Desert Bow Headband. Ah. And it's heat resistant, so that's good. <laughs> Excellent. Now look at me. Uh, the headband you just bought is only, is only one part of the Desert Bow series. There's also a Spalder and Trousers. But you have to go to a special place to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Gerudo Town? Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. Oh, now that I think about it, Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Forget I said anything. I, I do wonder if I'm going to have to do... Uh... There we go, looking good. I got, I got... I'm heat resistant, I'm cold resistant, and I can swim. But let's climb. Climb better. How about that? There we go. Now I'm looking pretty good. I'm, I'm all weathers, all terrain. Looking great here. I'm gonna check on this thing. I mean, I don't know if, if you really do shoot it with an arrow. But someone said it, and I can't forget it, so let's try it. And see if arrows really work. I mean, I don't know why an arrow would work here out of everything. Unless you shoot the purpley part. It doesn't do anything. I don't know what the heck to do with this. What? Mm. 
Well, there's the little spots here. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I don't know what to do about this either, honestly. Unless, what, what if I explode it? Like, no, not that. Uh, sure, let's do a bright bloom, whatever. Doesn't do anything. Let's try, um... Where are the bombs? I don't know that the bombs will help, but I'm just kind of curious, you know, what happens if I try a bomb. I don't know where the bombs are. There we go. It's just one. Nothing. I have no clue what to do with this, dudes. <laughs> They're freaking out. Oh, what about the water? Here. What about water? Nope. Well, if you guys have any idea, maybe, I'm, I'm sure something will tell me eventually. Something will be like, oh, hey, you had to use this. And I'm like, okay, cool. I didn't know. Hot, ah, it's so hot. I'm, I'm not doing too bad myself. Oh, there's a well. Oh, I forgot to check in the well. Some crabbies. And then, uh, wells aren't the same thing as caves. But this seems to be a cave. Or no, oasis source. Oh, hey, where's my dude? He's not here. Alright, I know. I know. I know it. We also have this, uh, rock hammer. to go look at all this stuff. There you go. So this in itself might be a cave. But wells aren't tip. I don't think wells have to be. Hey. I don't think wells have to be caves. Tree branch? No. Where's my dude? You are going to be useful. Well, a little bit useful. There's so many things here. Holy cow. Oh. All right, thank you. Through there. Could even use more. Toasted bright bloom seeds. Yep. So we got the booble gym. Got a ruby. Let me grab these. Oh, oh, dude, 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 dude. freaking lizard. He's gone. Lizard's gone. Just collect as much as I can, honestly. Let's. You know, Bo, let's go. That way it won't cost me so much. In terms of materials, dang. You know, Bo. I mean, there's a lot of claymores and stuff like that. That's, what is this? Wait, how do you, okay. <laughs> Nice. Yep. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I mean, it's not as powerful as some stuff, but it looks really cool. And I think I'm just going to replace one of the night shields with it. So, I mean, I'm just going to take it. I know the night shield is better. <laughs> In terms of numbers only, though, right? I guess that's all that really matters. But, but still... Wowzers, look at this. Lots of bright caps. All right. And then now you're gonna go over there. 
Oh, this looks like a bigger path than... All right, buddy. You know, about you're in charge of this. So charge! I think it always does two swings. Didn't mean for that to happen. I don't know. I Did I go on another, like, side adventure that's going to take me, like, an hour <laughs> to get through? <laughs> that's kind of like my... my. I don't know if is dread is the right word. I didn't want a tree branch. Dude, I wanted the lizard. Let's drop the tree branch. It's a big rock. Uh, let's see. What else do I got? I'm fine. Whatever. No, I want... Clearly, I want this. What am I talking about? Uh... What? I'm not so sure what this is. Am I supposed to break that? Apparently not. Where am I here? Let's uh Here, let's let's see if I can ascend. I can't ascend up this at all. What is this? I don't know what this is. I'm not so sure what the point of that is. Maybe I'll find out later. Huh. All right. Let's go up through here then. Oh dear. Oh dear. This might have been a mistake. Oh, there's the storm or whatever. Okay. Oh, it's too hot. Too hot. Oh great. My current outfit's not good enough. Uh I don't think I have any what is this? Heat resistance. Just eat this. There you go. I don't know where the heck I am. Dang, really? They're not even gonna tell me where I'm at? Crud. I didn't mean to go so far that I'm not going to be able to see anything. Can I glide in this? There you go. Uh oh. Let's do that again. Dang, I'm back in it. What is that? Is there a person over here? Oh, God. Those guys look super strong. Oh, but they're not. Uh, let's... <laughs> hold on. What the... <laughs> uh, let's just grab this blade thing, I guess. Let's uh, also... No, what the heck? What am I doing? Grab the blade, great. Dude. Block. Why are these guys so strong? There you go. Thank you, good hit, Sidon, thank you. Gibdo bone. Got him. All right, really need the powers here to help out Gibdos, huh? I really need some heat resistance or something like that. I need to cook with it or I need to do something. 
do whatever with it. Oh, hey, what's this? Bolt fruit. All right, and then we're just gonna go this way a little bit. I think I'm kind of headed the right way. I have two minutes to get out of this. Because apparently it's so hot. Oh no, not electricity. How do I get out of this? Uh, you know, I can run. Can I make a vehicle over here that would just help me get out of this? What the heck was that? Did, did, how did that move? I don't know. I don't know if I would find something in there or what. I think maybe just knocked it over. Oops. All right. Well, I only got two minutes. We should probably go. Uh, let's go back to the sword. Here's another glider. I, I do see this. I'm not, I, I'd rather wait to do this stuff once the storm's clear. And I bet you anything, little though, I'll clear once I, you know, do what I need to do. Uh, where am I? Okay, so yeah. So I just need to go to my right. There we go. All right, this is the this is the town, Gerudo Town. Is it still like super hot here? I don't think it's gonna be hot here. Oh dear, what the heck is this? All right, this guy's here. Help, help, team, team. Oh man, team. Where's my team? Did you get lost? I need my team for this. They're like zombies. Is there? Oh, hold on. Is there anything that will? Here, let me let me take a look. What about like splash fruit? There you go. That's the key. That's the key. Some sort of like water-based attack. Can I? Uh, Is there any thing that I like will have like a water ice like 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 fire like like <laughs> uh It's ice. You maybe maybe ice would work? Like let me I do you know what? I do have here, let me take this. Hold uh drop I do have a, uh, I do have this scepter here, and I'm going to infuse it. There you go. There you go, got him. Awesome. So I'm in town. so creepy here hello hello I'm not dressed oh I thought those are people I'm not dressed like a girl can I still be here 
Maybe it's down below. Yeah, ever like man, since I, since the last game, like every town has some sort of blight. Is that Plaka? <laughs> Ploka? Ooh. Nothing to report. Hmm. Ooh. Whoa, a Vo? Did you come here to escape the sand shroud? Well, you've reached the entrance to the Gerudo shelter, but I cannot allow any Vo to pass through this door. Vo? Ooh. Oh, you've never heard that word. Vo means man in Gerudo. There is a custom, really more of a law, that we Gerudo follow. Young Gerudo are generally, generally not allowed to interact with Vo. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? What's going on? Ooh. A Vo wanderer in here. Ooh. What? Did you say Vo? Uh. There's nothing to worry about. The Vo is very short and can't reach the peepholes of the door. <laughs> He's out of sight and even on his t <laughs> and even on his tiptoes, he won't be able to sit in and see in. <laughs> My short uh. king. Normally, Vo aren't allowed to even set foot within the walls of Gerudo Town, but this is a unique situation. Ooh. So as long as you keep out of the shelter, I'll overlook your presence in town. If you're looking for some place to get out of the sand shroud, you can rest in one of the houses on the surface. All right. Oh, I can peek in. I can peek in. Look at me. I'm peeking in. What are you going to do? What do I do? That's a real question. Let's uh, just pick this up. I'm going to throw this in anger. I demand to be in your space. <laughs> Alright, that doesn't do anything. Um, hey. What? I don't know how to get in. Whoa. I want in the shelter. <laughs> Let me in the shelter. Hmm. Well, those are big steps. <laughs> I will sit on the throne. Huh. This might be a little more puzzling than I thought initially. Do you think there are multiple entrances to the shelter? Maybe not. This place is empty. Man, this town is harsh. At least it's not too hot or too cold for me right now. I remember this town, though. This is like the first place that, like, exploring for secrets. Wow. Eek! A vo! Wow. I don't want to get caught talking to people I'm not supposed to. I got to get back to the shelter quick. All right. She just disappeared. I couldn't follow her. It wouldn't let me follow her to the shelter. I was going to see how she got in. If there's like a secret way. What if I like extinguish all of your zombies? Would that be helpful? go Gibdo guts man I'm trying to think about how I'm supposed to what I'm supposed to do I don't really know uh, unless I dress like a girl which I I don't know how to do that so I thought I, uh, I hope I didn't come here too early what's this Gerudo spear okay cool I might be here too early uh, Boom! Big hit. Travelers Claymore. Honestly, I I honestly might be here too early, like or not too early, but I might I might have supposed to have gotten some sort of gear that makes me look like a woman. Oh. Hey Perda, you made sure the entrance was really securely blocked, right? <laughs> yep, it's very much completely blocked with the crate. Keep it down. What do you think is going to happen to those monsters hear us? Knock, knock. I know there's a secret shop. She said there's a secret shop. And uh, I don't remember where it was. But it's a secret. And it's a shop. 
And I literally don't remember where it was. Let me go back here. Let's talk. Oh. The Gerudo shelter is beyond here. Doesn't it won't open the door for a Vo. Between keeping watch for intruders and checking the interior of the shelter with those peepholes, I'm very busy. Huh? No, Vo with a V. Bite your lower lip when you say a Vo. It's important to know this because Vo means man in Gerudo. <sighs> I'll go. So, wait, where is the secret shop? There, Because there, I need to know. I, I may not need to know, but I want to know. I feel like I need to know. I don't know if that's the path I need to take or what. I don't want to, like, waste a ton of time trying to figure out how to get in here, but I need to know how to get in here. I'll look up here. I know there's stuff up here. You know, maybe the point of this is so that I do examine the town. I don't know. Um, let's take a look over here then. Oh, this kid again. I'm just, maybe I just follow this kid. Whoa, a vo again? Mommy would be so mad if she saw me talking to you. I give up exploring. I get it back to the shelter already. She's going this way. So she's going like maybe a secret way. Maybe that's the real key. Yeah. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. There we go. Yeah. One, two, hop. So she knows the secret way in. Yep. Going in. No. A vo. There's a vo here. Stop him. Dang. They caught on. Next time I'll just drop a bomb down there. <laughs> uh. Vo are not permitted to be here. You must leave at once. Uh oh. oh. Hold on. There we go. Oh mama. It's Bellaria. It has been some time, swordsman. It's all right. This one has the chief's permission to enter, and he is welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Spread the word. Let everyone know this is the case. Oh. For you to come all this way, and during the strange storm that plagues us, you must have some important news to share. Well, actually, I'm looking for Zelda. Mm -hmm. The Princess of Hyrule is still missing? We had heard of the events at Hyrule Castle, but this, things are dire indeed. Still, swordsman, I mean, I mean Link. I'm impressed you made it here through the storm that surrounds Gerudo Town. Mm. The sand shroud settled on us some time settled on us some time ago. We set out sent out patrols to try to determine what was causing it, but a swarm of monsters, creature called Gibdos, suddenly appeared, attacked our troops, and forced us to retreat. The Gibdos have even made their way into town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to the shelter for their safety. As someone charged with protecting Gerudo Town, I am ashamed at our current situation. This is all to say that, although I wish I could help you search for the princess now, is uh, not a good time. I'm sorry. Mm. Lady Riju is currently training. She is trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. If you are hoping to speak with Lady Riju, you should visit the ruins to the north. All right. Wow. <laughs> so, sorry. Uh -huh. what, what, what do you want? I'm busy right now, okay? I need to make sure the Vo of my dreams hears my feelings for him. But how can I properly focus the positive energy or put out the bottles in the water while this guy is loitering uh -huh. around? Get out of here, scram! A Vo, it's a Vo! Hey, so you're a special Vo, aren't you? Otherwise, the soldiers would be arresting you right now. So, why are you so special? Uh -huh. Hey, Dahlia, you better not be speaking to that Vo. Didn't Miss Ashai teach you the first rule about Vo? For young Vi, speaking with a Vo will only invite misfortune. I'm not talking to a Vo, I'm just talking. I can't even see, so it's not my fault who comes walking by. Ugh, that doesn't make any sense. Listen up, Vo, you shouldn't go poking your nose into Gerudo life. You're free to come and go as you wish, but please don't disrupt the peace of our town. All right, fine, where could she be? Where did the owner, hmm? 
Oh, you're the chief's guest. Hmm, so this is a Vo. His ears look to be about about the circumference of his head and neck. Interesting. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You're the first Vo I've ever seen. I've got a little carried away figuring out your measurements. Oh. Why was I doing that? Because I make accessories. The key to any good accessory is the perfect fit. My name's Kara. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to make accessories for a Vo. So if you give me the chance, I'll put everything I've got into making some really great ones mm. for you. If this shop's owner were here, she could probably have made you all sorts of things, but she went out looking for potential adornments and hasn't come back since. She was in such a high spirits, too, gushing about the treasures that she find uh, around the Taruma Dunes. That's a dangerous place, though, Mulduga territory. I hope she didn't run into trouble. The missing owner is going to be in Mulduga territory? Uh. Anyway, did you need something? The owner may not be here, but I'll see what, see what I can. Accessories. Oh. Different gems uh, offer different kinds of protection. When you wear one, it bestows that protection on you. For example, a ruby has the power to make a bitter chill uh, bite less. Or you could uh, avoid the oppressive heat with a sapphire. Uh. Customers used to have to supply the materials for an accessory made to order if a bit of extra work. But that's not the case anymore thanks to the gems we've been getting from Elden up in Northeast Hyrule. We just make the accessories in advance and save the customer the legwork. There is a slight difference in the price, though, but that's to be expected. Unfortunately, the sand shroud has made it tough to get supplies. The stock is of the highest quality, just a bit limited. <laughs> you know, I never would have thought I'd talk to a Vo for, uh, for so long. It's kind of neat. Since I'm always in the workshop making accessories, the owner is usually the one who gets to talk to the customers. All right. <laughs> Great. Oh, wait. Amber earrings. Oh, that's interesting. These are... Heat resistance. Cool. This one doesn't do anything. I can pray here. Arrow, jellies. What's up? Sava. Sava. Uh. Oh, you must be that Vo everyone is talking about. Say, are Hylian and Vo interested in archaeology? Would it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I finally deciphered these oh. Stella. What? Do you want to hear what's written on them? Sure. If you insist. <laughs> First up, the Stella over here on the left, it says the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, their secret will be expressed on six stel Stellae. I don't know what, what these words are. <laughs> And for the Stella over there on the right, it says the seven heroines who protect the Gerudo and eighth channels and guides the powers of these seven. Hmm. I doubt you know this, but being a Highland, highly in vogue, but we Gerudo have believed in the heroines for a long, long time. Ah. They are said to have protected and guided our people in the past. Unfortunately, I have found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. Hmm. Th there are many debates and disagreements surrounding these I I enigmatic figures. Some argue uh, for re revering all seven as a collective, and others for worshiping each one as an individual. Certain rabble-rousing contrarians even claim that there are not seven, but one, or eight. If there is one thing scholars love, it is argu arguing with each other. Ah. But these stele definitely support the theory of eight. Eh? An incredible discovery, isn't it? I could stop here and rightly say that, that I changed the face of archaeology, but I found the other four stele who knows what else I might learn? But if I found the other force delay, who else might? Uh, who else? What else might I learn from the heroines? What? I can't read today. What is going on? I wondered too about this orb that I found while searching for the delay. Is it connected somehow? <laughs> it's like a maybe. I don't know. Mm. But I've not been able to find any delay besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. How I wish to see the text inscribed in those delay, even just for a picture, would serve my purposes. So, if I can find those underground, take a picture, that'll be good and all. A hey, Vo. Saba Saba. Saba Saba. Uh. Even though I know the chief has given you permission to be here, I just can't relax with the Vo around. I understand. Oh, they're training here. Anyone have any missions? Show them our real power. Saba Saba. Oh. If you've got something to say, please make it quick. After our humbling first encounter with the Gibdos, I realized that we needed to establish a new unit to combat them. The new unit is in the middle of training. They need to get into fighting shape fast since the enemy could strike at any time. Ah. Yeah, the first time we fought the Gibdos, they had us at, on our heels the whole time. 
That's because if you, you wear shoes like that. Numbers and strength were on their side. The best we could do was uh, was an organized retreat to protect the civilians. Most of the guards that held the Gibdos off are still recovering from their injuries. Hopefully this new unit can help us avenge our comrades and return to the surface. But first, they must finish training. Oh. Well, the Gibdos did a serious number on us before. It was so bad that some of the guards who fought the first encounter are still recovering from their wounds. I believe that partly has to do with how hard it is to protect yourself while using a spear. Both hands are full, you see. So I've established a new unit that can use a sword and shield instead. They can better guard themselves that way. Mm. In the first encounter, well, if Lady Riju had, hadn't been there with her control of lightning, we might have uh, been wiped out. All the more reason to get the new unit ready. We have to keep Lady Riju safe. Ah, be careful. Can you tell when someone is deeply focused on a dangerous task? Cannons demand the utmost care when handling. I may only be practicing right now, but if my hand slipped, I could set off the cannon. Don't talk to me again. It could be bad. Really bad. Powder check. Cannonball check. Aim barrel at target. Check. Finally, start the countdown. Three, two, one. Fire. Fire. No. Boom. <laughs> Oh no, the wall! <laughs> hey, Barta, what are you doing? The shelter isn't just some hole in the ground, it has a historical significance. What are you even. Oh, there we go. There's one of us. There's deep, deep breaths, Liana. What, what are you going to do about that wall? I, I, I'm sorry. How am I going to explain a blown up wall to Lady Riju? Huh? Hey, hey, this is your fault. Just unbelievable. This is exactly why we are so wary of Vo. Huh? I thought it was funny. Can't believe they lost. They lost what? Uh. Hey, don't even think about looking down on our noble guards, understand? Not only have they adapted to a brand new training regimen, one focus on mobility, but they dove straight into battle without hesitation against the Gibdos. They have nothing uh, if not their pride. A training regimen. I've only heard about it second hand, but the guards have been training hard to improve their desert mobility. You see, some time ago, right when Lady Riju had become chief, Gerudo Town faced a major crisis. After it was resolved, Lady Riju swore that our military forces would be prepared to face any new threats that came along. Unfortunately, that was a tougher task than anyone thought. Luckily, Lady Riju's close friend, Princess Zelda, came to visit. The princess suggested that the Gerudo learn to be more in touch with the desert itself. This inspired Lady Riju, and she proposed a new training regimen. At least that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have helped against those Gibdo things. Gibdos uh. are strange monsters. Our spears didn't even scratch them when the guards tried to fight. Uh. I can't think of a time where monsters as ferocious as, as these prowl the desert. Even when the new, even with the new training regimen the troops went through, these monsters are too tough. Brute force won't help much if you run into them. Be clever. Better yet, think up some kind of a new weapon to fight them. I already did that. I already thought up of a new weapon. What could I use? Hmm. Lady Riju's lightning strikes clearly damaged those monsters. I wonder if I attached an electric Lizophos horn to the spear, would it be enough to let me fight back against them myself? But electric Lizophos horns are, are valuable. I wonder if there's some other material I could attach in its place. Wake up. So what is this? This is something that requires a photo, right? I think. Indeed. So I got one of these, right? What's up? I understand what you're saying, but right now it's a luxury that we even get this much space in the shelter for training. It's only enough room for sparring, so that we'll have to do for now. <gasps> But Captain Teak, we need the training area. Is there no way to get it open back up for us? Oh, hmm? oh you're the vote that the chief has allowed inside the town walls. If you're interested in the training area, you must be looking to refine your abilities, huh? Well, the Southern Oasis training area is where we've been working to improve our desert mobility. Physical strength is important in fighting, of course, but being able to easily navigate the desert is valuable too. In fact, I'd argue that the manu maneuverability is the most important part of surviving in the desert. If you really think that, then we need to reopen the training area and get to work right away. No. I already said no, Sudri. If we underestimate how dangerous the desert is, we'll never live long enough to master it. Going out and training in the sand shroud would just be throwing your life away. Until the sand shroud ends, we can't risk it going to the training area. I won't allow it. All right, so we'll, we'll deal with that. What is this business? This isn't anything I need to know about, is it? Yeah. 
Huh. I don't know. Alright, well, I found one of those things, so let me, uh... I guess just only four... Here, I got one. Uh, here you go. Here's a picture. What? You found a Stella? Show me. It's right in the room next door. What does this one say? Let's see. The seven hair ones protect the Gerudo with the powers of heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flight, mobility, and compassion. Ah. Mm, yes, the legend is well known, but it has never been verified eh? until I came along, that is. <laughs> mm. I'm curious what the text described on the Stella. Do you perhaps find any? Oh, oh you don't. Oh, no new pictures. Ah. Okay, only three remain, so I don't know where the three are going to be. This place is big. I guess it is true. I heard the guards talking about it, but I still didn't believe a Vo was actually here. I'm impressed you made it all the way here through the sand shroud. Oh, did you rent a sand seal to get here? Nope. What? But if you didn't rent one... No, he couldn't have found a wild one. The sand shroud has made it almost impossible to track them down. Does that mean he walked? <laughs> That's even harder to believe than him finding a wild sand seal. Oh, you Vo, are all of you such pranksters? You obviously must have rented one from the shop near the entrance to the desert. It's the only answer that makes sense. <laughs> Sar Sarkso, for your business. My mom and I are in the business of training sand seals and renting them out to folks. The sand shroud has made it far too dangerous to go above ground right now, so my shop is temporarily closed. But if you got questions about sand seals, I'd be happy to answer them. No, not really. This place is huge. So long as the sand shroud is around, we can't rent out any sand seals. At this rate, my job might evaporate. <sighs> Maybe I should start looking into becoming an attendant to Lady Riju's beloved sand seal, Patricia. Right now, Pada is looking after Patricia, but she's a soldier too, so I wouldn't be shocked if she had to help with all these strange monsters. If I'm serious about changing jobs, maybe this is my chance. You never know. Holy cows, where am I going? Should I go? I hope the chief is okay. Maybe I should go after her, but I'm just an attendant to Patricia. I would be acting against, against her wishes, too. If I were to go, though, I could just go through here. It comes out of the northern ruins. That's where the chief was headed. Patricia. Ah, oh. uh, my apologies. Ooh. Patricia is the chief's beloved sand seal. You heard the sand seals, right? They're desert creatures that can navigate the dunes with amazing ease. And Patricia is a very special one. She seemingly has the power of an oracle. Mm. Or she did. Ever since the upheaval, she's mostly just been sharing these strange numbers. I've been her attendant for years now, but even I can't make sense of this turn of events. Oh. She's off with the chief now. They headed out to the northern ruins. If you want to speak with Patricia, you'll probably have to wait until things have settled down and the chief isn't too busy. Ooh. The chief went to the train in the northern ruins. She rode out there with her beloved sand seal, Patricia. Oh. I'm worried, though. There have been a lot of these strange monsters popping in, up in the world lately. But as worried as I am, the frustrating sand shroud makes it impossible to navigate the desert. The chief has an amazing sense of direction, but I'm not so lucky. So instead of traveling above ground, I was thinking of using the secret passage to get to the... This secret pa passage to get to the northern ruins. Mm. Uh, I can't stop myself from worrying about the chief. I wish this Vo would go check it out for me. <laughs> At least that I'd be able to rest a little. Bit. So I'll I'll go. I'll go. But I'm still looking over here. There's still. I can't believe how big this shelter is. What's going on over here? This is something. I don't know what the heck to do here, but this is definitely something. This is something to do later. I think. I have no idea what that's, that's all about. All right, was this all? No, there was a little something going on over here. They're in love. Wait, is that a painting of me? Volta. Volta. Oh. You're really a special Vo, aren't you? You must truly adore Lady Riju if you were willing to travel through the sand shroud. Mm. I wish I had a Vo like you in my life. Mm. I thought I could turn my back on past loves and focus on finding the perfect Vo for me. But that sand shroud really put a damper on my motivation. Talk about being unlucky in love. These are all... Are these like all people who are supposed to be like Vos? Oh. oh, you're that special Vo the guard was talking about. My name is Ashai. I'm in charge of teaching the Vo and you class through the Gerudo. <laughs> have you set your heart on a special someone? I have. 
<laughs> you don't hold anything back, do you? Most vi value honesty in a vo. That's a good trait for you to have. You're welcome to sit in on a lesson if you're interested. Vo aren't normally allowed in town, so it could be a rare treat for the class if you showed up. Maybe you could come in by the evening. That class is for the older Gerudo. The daytime class is for the younger students. I don't think they're quite ready to meet a vo. All right. It's in the middle of the night, I guess. 4.15 a.m. Is there really going to be a night class? All right. So... I guess, I mean, if I want to take go to the Northern Passage, or whatever it's called, I just, uh, I just go. I just go. Go check it out. So let's do what we got to do. Should I go? I'm going. Don't worry about it. I'm going. Unless the sand can... Valley of the Silent Statues. The statues better stay silent. They better not talk to me. It'll be freaky. Oh, wow. How strange. <sighs> Nothing like going to stretch your legs and ending up in a strangest place. Everything looks the same down here. It would be so easy to get turned around. I wonder if the people who originally made this place got lost in all that time, too. Uh -huh. Hey, what do you want? Were you lurking in the shadows there, eavesdropping on what I was saying? Oh, you're that Vo every that ha that everyone has been talking about, right? If I were younger, I might have been surprised to see you here, but at my age, well, very little surprises me. Disappointed that I wasn't shocked and aghast at the very sight of you, huh? Anyway, I'm going to go. I'm feeling a little parched, so maybe something to drink at the canteen. All right. See ya. So, I guess we get past this. Let me take a drink really quick. I myself am also parched. All right. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Um. There we go. Let's go ahead and equip this uh, rock hammer here for this. some mirrors or something here yeah that looks interesting I just wonder are we gonna find any more inscriptions down here like you know all right let's break this open come on you nobo we got this Arrows for days. All right, Unobo, where are you at, buddy? You're wanted. Hey, come here. Nice. You got part of it. <laughs> we'll get the other part. Don't worry. Got to unveil all the sunlight. Oh, come on. Come on now. You know what? Forget it. Forget it. We picked up bombs here. Let's just do it ourselves. Ta-da! Bright light, bright light. Uh, let's switch to a sword. I'm almost wondering, can I just direct it myself? You know what I mean? I feel like that... Wait. This is so... It's so hard to, to do this. Here, let's just, can I just drop this? And then maybe I'll just use this. There's one. And then there's one. 
There's more though, right? I'm not sure what these are. There's two. Let me, let, me, let me take this back. I don't know. I don't know if there's just two or how many there are. There's one over there. We'll see about that soon. Oh wow. Oh. Whoops. Wait. Come on. Whoa, I haven't had one attack me before. All right, great. Whoops. Um, let's see. So yeah, there's light over there that needs to happen as well. So I think there's only like three things, right? And then let me go ahead and I never remember like what button to push to activate certain things. That's like one of the one of the hard parts about this. There's something, there's something behind there. Whoa. Oh, you know what? I didn't think about this. But now I'm thinking about it. There you go. That answers that question. Now that now when I see these sand dunes, I'll know to use a fan. Try that. Sorry. The benefits of having a mirror shield is that you can take it wherever you want. I almost wonder, like, can I have like a mirror, f like, can I have like a fan shield? That could be really useful. Just have like a fan whenever I want. That's actually, okay, hold on. That's actually really interesting. Let's do a night shield, but infuse it with the fan. You think that'll work? And then if I let's see, like if I'm if I'm fighting with a sword, yeah, I could use that like uh, the gust bellows or whatever it's called. I'm gonna go down here. Is there anything down here to be mindful of? Oh crap! Oh boy. Uh. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That really drains my, uh, my stamina there. Let's pull out this rock hammer. This. I guess I'll just climb up. I mean, I could go up, I guess.
Let's see what all is down here. There's something down here. I'm going to prepare by... I mean, it might be one of those monsters. I'm going to bring the Sapphire Scepter. Oh, shoot. What is that? That's electric, right? Dang it. God. That hurts. I finally have some more, some more food, though. So let me just eat one of these. I dropped my... What did I drop? Yes, thank you. Uh, here. Just hit it. It's frozen. I love it. It's frozen. Good. Even though I think it lost its its uh, luster. Shock fruit. Shock like stone. What did I end up dropping? Uh, maybe I didn't. Oh yeah, the Gerudo. That's a good one. I'll take that. And then what's? Uh, hold on. Is this what I dropped? I don't know what I dropped. Knight's bow. Uh, hold on. So let's let's pull out my bow. We'll drop the falcon bow for the knight's bow. It's all looking good. Let's grab this treasure then. This one is different. What is this gonna be? Topaz. Okay. So, th this was supposedly lead somewhere, and then, so what? I guess I, did, I, guess I got distracted. Which is fine, because I mean, like, I, I got a lot of cool stuff. I solved the puzzle. Uh, sorry, I, I never hit the right button. When I, like, when I want to switch things, I, it's never... <laughs> go amber oh yeah lots of stuff here there's always two swings that might be better just to do the little dash oh shoot uh here scepter Here, let's let's attack him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Who else wants to attack him? You wanna attack him? Dang, the scepter is not doing too hot. Dang, I really enjoyed the scepter too. Uh Luminous Stone. Royal Claymore. Well it's gonna be better than what I have now. Um which is a soldier's spear. <laughs> Just drop that. Uh, let's go back to the rock hammer. It's also badly damaged. Luminous stone. Boom. Okay. Oh, hi. Uh, okay, so... This is... Flux core. With that, with that. Will that do anything? Hold on. Let's see if this does anything good. No. Nope. 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 No. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. That's the real secret right there. Is you just do something like that, and then you just bash him, and he's fine. All right. Uh, let's go. Oh, I have a ruby sword, which is interesting. That should be fire based. Here, let's uh. I just have this equipped for whenever something happens. Yep. Lightning. Okay, cool. Whew, close call. There we go.
Close. <laughs> Missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. It's you. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, here I am, Riju. Chief of the Gerudo now. But then, you always show up in unusual times. <laughs> well, here I am, telling the story oh. about Zelda. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky, Zelda vanished right in front of you, and now you've come here looking for clues. Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda's a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than, than usual. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appears around it appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It has blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we've never seen before begin attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They're slow, but they still make investigating the Sand Shroud difficult. Were you watching just now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be an effective weapon against the Gibdos. Hmm. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to, de to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of the Sand Shroud and search for Zelda as well. Mm. Link, will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at that dummy over there. All right, heck yeah. Wait, did I hit her? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let me get. I think I might have hit her. Hold on. We got it. Ha! Huh, there we go. Now let's try something a little trickier. So she helps with my arrows. Is that what her thing's gonna be? Aim for the those dummies over there. Maybe we could hit uh, them with a single lightning strike. Here's an idea. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for the area in the middle of all three, like right around where that rock. Okay, sure. Oh, but keep in mind that the farther away the target is from me, the longer it will take me to build up the energy to hit it. Okay. All right. Oh, I see. So, so there we go. Did we get him? Yes. I'm getting the hang of it now. This is interesting. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. Oh. I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. Uh-oh. Come. Oh? What was that? Mm. It didn't sound like any noise the sand shot has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was Chief. We have received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Kara Kara Bazaar. Bull bull Blara. <laughs> Bularia is already on her way there. She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Karakara Bazaar? It's the oasis northeast of Gerudo Town. Let's show those Gibdos what we're made of. Let's do it. And that's what we'll do next episode. Come back for that. We'll see you then. Goodbye, and thank you for, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Let's open this treasure first. What do we got? What do we got? Knight's bow. That's that's not bad. Let's see what we can drop. That's a 26. We can drop this 14 falcon bow. There we go. Very awesome. Thanks again, guys. See you next time for more. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.com.
www.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop.shop